Good morning. Thank you for joining me, Coach Michael, on your Monday morning. Well, hopefully the last couple of weeks you've taken me up on my offer on some homework and you got more clear, more intentional on your time. You saw that maybe where some of the places you were wasting time and not being intentional and you upped it a bit. And by really being intentional on your time, you can deliver more to yourself, your organization, your team, and most importantly, your own organization or business, the bottom line. And that's what it's all about because you want to be in the zone. This week, we're going to cover the D's. What are the D's? The D's is, first of all, if you get something on your plate, the first place is do it. If it's important, get it done. Don't procrastinate. Don't put it on the back burner. Get it done. That's where time blocking comes important, where you begin to time block certain areas of your day to get that important work done, like we covered last week, the demand state, the 60% that you have to do the work. Put some time blocks in your calendar and get the work done. The other, next one is defer it. If it's not important right now, if you don't need to do it right now, and it's something you could defer to maybe later in the week, that if you have some spare time on Friday or you actually organize Friday to be your deferred date, things that don't need to be done today but are important to do, you could defer them to later in the week, then you could block out the time to get that done. Number three could be deleted. When you really get down to it, some of the things that you have on your list just might not be important. And if you really look at it, is it serving you? Is it serving the team? Is it moving the needle forward in your organization to build more? The answer is no. Don't do it. Delete it. Dump it. Drop it. Get rid of it. Or if you're a leader of a team and you own an organization, delegate it. Give the work to somebody else. When I coach organizations and teams and leaders, when I give them certain work to do, that doesn't necessarily need, they mean they need to do the work themselves. They can delegate that work or at least start having somebody else doing a portion of it as homework to bring it back to you so you can knock it out very quickly. And the last D is a default diary. And a default diary is simply a calendar. Take a, you could take an Excel spreadsheet, you could take a Google Doc, plan your week in advance, plan out the calendar, put blocks, time blocks in certain areas for your appointments, for your planning, for your thinking, whatever it may be, but map out your week in advance on a calendar. So follow the D's, get more diligent on what you're doing and more intentional what you're doing. Get clear on what needs to be done, what you can defer, what you can just delete and dump off your plate, what you can delegate to someone else and use a calendar to get clear. And another thing is instead of planning the day and the morning, plan it the night before. Plan your week last Friday, not on Monday morning. So next week, we're going to have the last of the series on time. At this point, I just want to wish you a productive and proper week. Go get them. I'll see you next week. Thank you.